friends welcome to my video in this video we will see how to programmatically uninstall any other android app of your on your device from your android app so let's begin let's create a new project layer was it will be pretty simple so you can name this app anything and install and uninstall android app here yeah. and click finish and wait for the environment to load it may take a while so i'll pause the video and resume once the environment loads up once the environment loads first and foremost thing what we can do it is in manifest file we may need to give a couple of permissions which is like a debit package this one yeah and other could be probably query all package as well so yeah let's do this I'm not sure why this error is probably instead of delete package what we can do is we can request request delete package yeah, this should be fine and uh, what else I think I should have given this codes and over here I'm not sure let me check so it says query details should generally be used instead of query. I think we can suppress it so that's fine this is not a big issue yeah so once we have these permissions in our manifest file, then we can go to the layout uh, window. And over here, what I'll do, okay, one thing more I'll do is in parallel, I'll start my emulator so that it can load up uh, in the meanwhile. So I'll keep the text view as it is. Definitely, I'll use this to print my some kind of output. And I'll give it some ID. Apart from that, what I'll do is I'll put a button which will trigger this. So say for example, and also one plain text where I'll put the name of the app which I want to remove. So this uh, plain text could be edit text text. Okay, I don't know why two times this text comes. So yeah, and name. I think I can delete the name and just give some hints instead. So I just scroll down, and there should be a attribute called hint, and here I can give the enter package your yeah, app name yeah so it will come as a gray dot form okay my app is starting in the emulator so that's why it has come up that's fine i can show you one more thing quickly if i go to the home page i've already installed few apps like what's uh, facebook zoom and all uh, i'm not sure if you're able to see all these apps so i've zoomed a bit of my emulator so you can see all these apps right so we'll be trying our concept on these apps one by one. Yeah. Right now I'll just minimize this uh, window and focus on my other part of the uh, development. And I can give some constraints over here for button and I can name this button uninstall the app. Yeah. Okay. And there's some things I'll leave as it is. So yeah i'll quickly go to my java code java file and here first and foremost i'll define a couple of class variable which will be edit text and text view and this i will be using in my uh yeah for for uh Required purposes. So let me just quickly finish. Perfect. Also, what I'll do is I'll create a public method, public void button. And so you can name this for matter anything, it does not matter. And then I can go back to my layout and over here in this for this in this button, there should be an attribute called on click attribute, right? So you can associate this method to this yeah, button on click so whenever that button is clicked this particular method will be called so now actual code will be very easy uh, but yeah first let me sh show you how to do that so say for example we get the string of edit text which is basically nothing but uh, no i'll say uh, app app name right so this we will get from edit text 
dot get text and not so if two string could be yeah we can convert so we can use this tag it so okay and now let me create the main part of the code first uh, how i'll show you why this may not be always the best method so first i'm creating the intent and this intent probably what i'll do is i'll give it some action probably action underscore i think this one delete yeah so this is the action which we'll be defining and then in terms of data set data we have to give some ud right so what we can do it is ud dot parts and in this first we should give the our package as a keyword package p u c k a g e make sure the spelling is correct and then we can give the package name of this string app so that's where the trick comes here we can't give the app and say well, for example if you give whatsapp here no it won't be taking it it needs the complete package name and that's where the trick lies we don't know the package name or usually the end user doesn't know the package name so in the XML when he enters, he'll probably enter WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Zoom, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that'll be difficult. So we'll do one thing. We'll come to this part later. Uh, right now, for the time being, I'll just put in as the placeholder here, but this is not a correct. We have to change this part probably. Okay, so to do. And then once we have our uh, this one defined, then we can do start activity and we can give this intent over there perfect but uh, uh yeah and also the last call you can set text something like successful or something like that spec is uh, uh so i can give deleted deleted success fully yeah but what i'll do is i'll just give the app name probably first String string. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, I think the spelling is wrong. So it should be R I N G and not that one. R I N G. Okay, that's why it was not coming here. String app name. Yeah, plus. Okay, so of course, you also have changed. So I'll just put one to do. Now to get the actual package name instead of a string uh, app name, what I we can do it we can scan the complete list of the packages installed on our uh, website or rather on the phone. Yeah. So for that, uh, of course, uh, what I'll do I'll refer to my previous one of the uh, app which I published where I get a list of all the apps installed on your Android fan, phone, and the code is given over here. So this is the Code. So I'll not use the complete part, but I'll use a part of this code. So I'll just know this method, this part of the code I'll need. So I'll just, and even I'll modify it to a certain extent. Thus I'll show you up, up, what all things I'll modify. So first, of course, here I'm just making a list of all the packages using this get package manager. And then in the string array, I'm getting the size, but I don't think I'll need this because uh, I'll just comment out this one. I don't need this, and probably I will not need this. I will not need this. Yes, what I'll need is probably I'll need uh, to define something called a string package name. Okay, and this initial probably you can keep it as null, or you can just leave it as it is because anyway we'll assign it over here, and or no, better to keep it null because of the yeah and then in this for loop what we can we can do is we can check if uh this one application info application info dot package name dot contains uh whatever we get in this string app name okay uh, so i don't think i need a double quotes here string app name and here we can we should convert it into the lowercase okay so make sure because package names are all in lowercase so if a user has entered anything in the uppercase it will not and it's a case sensitive okay so if that's true then what we can do it we can assign this string package name equals to this one application info package name yeah 
this is all what we need rest of the code we don't need from the other one control v and probably we can remove the other code just to avoid any confusion and then we can use this probably control c instead of app name what we told right we have to replace this we have to replace this and here probably we will do some And one thing I'll do over here probably I'll do a safety check if this is null then don't proceed for further probably later. Okay, so this will help us and print something in text view. Set text uh, deletion uh, unsuccessful. Okay, so just to know that okay it did not proceed further. Now let me rerun and see how it turns up whether it works or not. Okay, and yeah, so okay. Here first let me do one thing. Okay, first let me do one thing. Uh, uh, show you which all apps we have. So we have WhatsApp, we have Facebook, and so on and so forth. So let me now go back to my app and first let me start with WhatsApp. Okay. And let me see if it works. Okay, so it's asking, do you want to uninstall this app or not? Click OK. Perfect. If you can see on the screen, it says uh, com dot WhatsApp deleted successfully. If I go to my home screen, there is no more WhatsApp available. It's deleted or it's removed, uninstalled probably. Okay, we can uh, try it once again with some other probably. This time probably we can try with Zoom. The problem will come when the same name is there in more than one app. So that time probably the first one wins, something like that. And click OK. Yeah. So this also deleted successfully. US.zoom.video meeting. So this is the package name. So that's the trick. Uh, most of the times the end user will not know the complete package name, and that's where this for loop will help you to get the package name, default package name. Okay, so that's all. Okay, we can do for the last one also. Before that, I can just go. So Facebook is there. We can try with Facebook as well. And so what I'll do is I'll just type. Okay, this time I'm typing F S capital intentionally to see whether it works or not. So I think it still wants to uninstall the app. So that's fine. Yeah, even Facebook dot Katana got deleted successfully. Now, if you try once again, this is the impression. Okay, first let me show you that would, would have gone off, right? So there's no more Facebook, no more WhatsApp, nothing. All those apps are uninstalled one by one. If you try once again, it is an unsuccessful because it did not get the package name there, so it did not even reach it. However, if you comment out this line, if it reaches here, it will throw that error that package does not exist. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show. Uh, in this video, I hope this information is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.